is it so important for you to be here at the start of this off-season program? And it looks like you've been around for quite a bit, putting in a lot of work. Yeah, just coming off the injury at the end of last year, uh, you know, having surgery, uh, I wanted to do everything I could to uh, to get back and be ready to go by this time of the year. And I felt like being here in the building with trainers and, and therapists that I trusted and um, felt like they could do a good job of, of rehabbing me and, and get me ready to go. How are you? Are you feel like you're all the way back? or? Yeah, I feel really good. Obviously, it's been a long time getting to this point, um, but was able to to step into this offseason, you know, feeling really good. What was the uh, first part of the offseason like for you as you kind of reflected back on 2022 and maybe what's your mindset moving forward? Yeah, obviously <laughs> tough, you know, just finishing the way we did, the way, you know, I did just not being able to, to be, be out there. Um, you know, it sucks. But um, at, at that point, my, my focus was, doing everything physically I could to, uh, to get ready, um, you know, putting the time in, the work in to, to get the ankle right and feeling, uh, feeling good, being able to move, move around again and um, get ready for the next year. Rand said he talked to you in February and said you knew exactly where you stood with the organization. Where is that? How, how do you stand with the organization? My job is to, to get ready to go win football games, and that's what I'm going to do each and every day. Well, knowing, you know, what has been invested in your position in the last couple of years, like how do you go about – uh, approaching that and just maintaining, just kind of staying in your lane? Like, is it just a matter of keeping what's in front of you in front of you, or like, how do you do that? Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I, you, you can only control what you can control, right? Mike and Rand make those decisions, and um, as players, you, you got to control what you can control, and that's doing the best you can, prepping yourself mentally and physically each and every day to, to go in football games. Well, what do you think of the addition of, of Will Levis? Yeah, hopefully he adds to the room. Uh, obviously, a uh, talented guy um, coming off a, a great college career, so. Um, you know, we'll see when I get to meet him here in a few weeks. Is he or next week, I don't even know exactly when. The, uh, you know, you kind of went through this last year, of course, with, with Malik getting drafted and all these questions too. Does it make this round of all those type questions any easier, you know, in, in a team drafting a potential future quarterback? Yeah, we've, we've been down this road uh, before, so it's definitely a little bit of deja vu. Um, but like I said, um, Mike and Rand make those decisions. My job is to go out and, and, and try to win football games. Competitor, obviously, when the team drafts somebody, do you does it make you want to dig in even more and, and say, "Hey, I'm I'm the guy." Uh, my process doesn't really change. You know, it's uh, I like to believe that that I'm giving my my all, and every time I, I get go out there and, and prep, uh, whether it's in an OTAs or or week 15, you know, getting ready to go win a game. You know, you want to have a process about how you go go about things. Um, Take your job seriously each and every day, knowing that nothing's given to you and got to go out there and earn everything. So, you know, that process doesn't change. Right. Has that always been that way, or did, did the experience in Miami sort of inform that as well or change you in any way? I mean, you definitely grow from life experiences, right? Whether it's something that happened when you were a kid or early on in your professional career, um, every, everything in life is a learning experience. So you're learning from, from your own life experiences. You're learning from what you're seeing happen to, uh, in other places, uh, you know, throughout the league or in other areas of your life, and uh, just trying to take in all that information and, and grow from it. What's it a little different from the uh, receivers that you have currently to work with and what you've seen so far during the uh, offseason work? Yeah, guys are out there working hard. Um, you know, Traylon uh, has been doing a great job. Nick's doing a great job. Kyle uh, is out running again, so that's great to see. Uh, Mason's out there working hard. Racy's moving well. You know, we have a bunch of guys that, that have been around and, and have been doing a good job for us. In, in preparation, you know, learning a new system, being a new offense, uh, new concepts, all that, all that type of stuff. But uh, guys are digging in, they're working hard, and that's all you can ask for. So Some of those guys are going to have to step up, though, and play much bigger roles than they did a year ago? Yeah, no question. I mean, um, you know, you look, you look who you got in the room, and, and that's who it is. So I'm going to have to uh, go out and compete each and every day, and, and we'll see, you know, who ends up getting the, the majority of the time. But definitely guys are going to have to step up just like they are in every position across the board. Has your representation had any conversations with the Titans about your, your contract heading into the last year with the, with the big number? Would you like uh, an extension at this point? Yeah, I'm not going to get into uh, professional art side of things, uh, the business side of things up here. I know some of the guys have talked about the carryover from last year and how it ended going this year. Some of them said the short-term memory that it's done and over. But uh, what I know you were not part of all that because of the injury and such, but what did what did you learn about yourself and this team, and, and what do you carry over from that into this year? Yeah, the sting. I think you, you feel the sting as a team. Um, and, you know, we didn't finish where we want to finish, you know. So 
um, being able to um, just prep yourself. Know we have to be better uh, across the board throughout the season. It doesn't matter, you know, what, what happened in, in one week or two weeks or even three, four, five weeks. It's a matter of, you know, how things build throughout the season. And you have to be able to, to win games down the stretch, uh, get in the dance, and then obviously win those games. So uh, we know that, but it's a, it's a reminder and hopefully gives everyone a little bit of fire to, uh, to head into this offseason and, and this year. What's your early of sense of, of Tim Kelly's playbook and what the differences in this offense can be from what, what you're coming off? Yeah, no doubt. It's a big difference, right? New terminology, new concepts, you know, huge changes. But, um, you know, fresh, fresh line of thinking on things. So um, just having to get up to speed with, uh, with how we're doing things, what we're calling things, uh, different ways we're attacking the defense. Uh, and that's what we're doing right now is using this time when we're not going against the defense to just try to learn the offense, uh, get accustomed to the new terminology, uh, the new terms, the new routes, and um, you know, be able to translate that onto the field as we go. What are you maybe most excited about in the framework of, of that? Uh, there's a lot of excitement. I love working with Tim. Um, like I said, fresh mind, you know, bringing in some new ideas, new concepts, uh, different ways to attack the defense, and we've, we've had it around here the last few years. So um, you know, definitely some excitement there. Shake kind of made it sound like tempo might be maybe tempo maybe a little bit emphasized. Is that fair? Like, yeah, I mean, I, I I'd like to think so. We'll we'll see as we get going, right? But we know we want to put pressure on the defense. You know, that may, might be tempo, might be personnel changes, might be um, you know different sets than in personnel than than defenses are typically uh, seeing. So um, you know, a big emphasis I think is just putting pressure on the defense, not not just tempo. There's a lot of ways you can do that. And that's one of those tools. What did you Charles think about Lundin, the like additions Brian. of the offensive line? Obviously, a lot of work in free agency and then two in the draft. Yeah, as a quarterback, you'd love to see it, right? They, you know, as, as a quarterback, there's two areas you like to see improve, and that's O-line and wide receiver. So, um, you know, we, we added some, some beef up front uh, to the offensive line, um, you know, some veteran guys, and then, you know, a young, talented rookie as well, uh, and our couple rookies, I guess, through, through the draft. So uh, excited about adding those guys, getting to know the veterans right now. And um, you know, excited to get to know the young guys as they come in. Maybe a soft spin on, on Charles London, kind of getting to know him, and, and maybe what differences might he bring to the table, new ideas, etc. Yeah, it's been nice having Charles around. He's uh, obviously a veteran coach. Uh, he's been in this offense for for several years before, so uh, he has a background and understanding what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish. So uh, just be able to have those conversations on um, on what we're trying to get out of each and every concept, how we're seeing things, whether it's the mic ID or or the progression, or the footwork, um, you know, just having a guy who's who's seen it done before for several years is, is key. Brian, when you did talk to Durant, did that um, settle you in terms of the direction and, and you know, what to expect here in the next few months? Um, I, I don't know. You know, it's like um, those conversations you can be, you know, thought of in a, in a lot of different ways, but at the end of the day, um, I have an opportunity in front of me to, to go out and, and play football, and that's what I'm here to do. You clearly said you're the starter. Do we overblow how important that is, or is that important that that gets clarified right off the bat? Well, I appreciate it being clarified, but um, you know, nothing's given to you in this league, and I've seen that over, over my now 12 years here in the NFL. Um, things can change quickly, so you know, just as a player, you understand, like I said earlier, you have a process that you go about and you take advantage of each and every day and try to grow as a player every, every day that you get the opportunity to do that. And um, you, have to, you have to progress and you have to you know, make plays when it comes down to it. You mentioned Traylon, just from what you've seen so far, how's he look physically, how's he look from a confidence standpoint? What did, what did you see from him so far in this early play? Yeah, he's moving well. You know, as, a, as a QB, you love seeing a big guy moving well. Obviously, he's a, a really talented guy. You know, we've seen that uh, over the past year. Saw it flashes in, in games at times last year, um, and he, he's growing. So he's doing everything we're asking of him right now, and, and look forward to continue to to build that relationship and that chemistry as we move forward. Back to the changes that are being made in the offense. Are, are any of the protection uh, things changing as far as how you guys are doing protections, maybe to get the ball out a little quicker? And if so, are you happy about that? Uh, we have a lot of changes, yeah, and, and uh, the whole system's pretty much different, including including some protection stuff. So, um, you know, we'll have a, a variety of different ways to get the ball out, whether that's getting the ball out quickly, uh, normal drop back, or, or play actions like we've had. So, 
Um, just like every offense in, in the NFL, you got different ways to attack the defense, and we want to use all of them. You mentioned, the, I guess, the new offensive line. I mean, how much different is the field? No Ben, no Ryan. I mean, no no Ben, no Taylor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Robert Woods <laughs> gone. I mean, what what is the uh, feel in the building as you're kind of starting off the off season? Yeah, it's definitely a different feel, right? Guys that have been here over my four years here, you know, most of them are, are gone. So um, just making sure that you know, having to go out and lead each and every day, having some other guys step up. You know, Brew's been doing a good job coming in, having extra meeting time with uh, with myself and Tim in the mornings, um, leading that group on the offensive line. You know, so um, as some guys leave, it gives opportunities for other guys to step up and, um, and take advantage of those, those spots that, that have left. So i um, happy to see some growth from those areas and, and look to uh, continue to see that. The IBA has been really outspoken about pushing for grass around the league. Grass here hasn't been great, and they've decided to go the, the other way to turf. Just wondering what, the, what your reaction is to that. Uh, I don't love it. I, I've always enjoyed playing on grass more than turf. Uh, just easier on your body, your joints, uh, your skin as you're, you're on the ground. Um, but that's where we're at, right? Uh, we've played a lot of games on turf. We're going to play a lot more games on turf now. Um, I don't think it uh, affects the quality of the game or anything, but it definitely you know, affects how you feel the next day. In terms of this off season, you know, between yourself and Derek and Kevin Byard, as far as all the <laughs> rumors and all that floated out on the internet, and what? Each of you probably were traded or released three times. How did you respond to all that as, as things like that come about, even though you know you're still here? Yeah, I tried to stay out of it, honestly. Um, didn't see a lot of it. You know, I'd get a text from a friend or something. Like, oh, really? You know, so um, just try to stay out of it as much as it, much as you can. You know, I think riding that roller coaster is a tough one to ride. So um, just try to stay out of it and I just kept my head down, kept doing the things I, I could do each and every day, and if something was going to happen, I'm sure they'd let me know. So um, didn't really ride that roller coaster. Pat said it's confident. You know, this team still views itself as the same contender it has the last few years and headed towards a rebuild or something like that. I mean, our job is to go win games, right? You know, it doesn't. I don't think uh, that ever changes. So um, we're going to do everything we can uh, to prepare ourselves to, to do that, you know, starting here in OTAs. Do you expect uh, or think a wide receiver might get picked before 228? I'm sorry. One more Did time? you think or expect a wide receiver might get drafted by this team before number 228? Um, they don't ask me, you know, uh, my thoughts on on draft picks. You know, Mike and Rand get make those decisions. Um, obviously, you know, I, I knew it was an area that, that could be addressed, but. Um, they did just a little bit probably later than I, than I thought it was going to. But uh, we added some other key positions, um, some talent that will help us across the board. This time last year, you stressed the importance of taking care of your mental health in the offseason. A, a year later, how would you kind of describe your mental strength and, and where you are coming into this new year? Yeah, you grow from every experience that, that you're, you're put through in life. Some are harder than others. Um, but you're able to use those things, grow from it. Uh, and I feel feel really good right now. Obviously, um, some things are challenging, but you're able to, to try to address it for what it is, take it for what it is, and, and keep moving forward. What's the offseason been like for you, and maybe how much more comfortable are you this, this offseason compared to last? First offseason, it's it been great just to have that little downtime, just to get your body back right, you know, after a long season, you know, after rookie season, everything, it was all great. And coming back here, meeting the new people that come on the team, new coaches and stuff, it's just great. Like, again, like how we started to find our, started to find our foundation here. And I feel like the stuff that we got going now, and obviously I feel like it's going to be great. You could actually train for football as opposed to all the testing last year. Like, how much do you feel that will prepare you to have a better season? I feel like I'm just great. I'm no last year. I did a lot. Um, I, I feel like I did a lot, and I feel like now I feel like I know a lot. I feel like I know what's coming at me now. So just coming out there, just going over the place, about to install one. It's just I just feel confident. I just feel like comfortable that I know what I'm doing, and I did this before. So I got a feeling that I just got to keep improving no matter what. How much have you gotten to know Chris Harris so far, and what's he like, and what do you think he's gonna help you with? 
Um, so far, I mean, he's been great. You know, he's been telling us about his past and stuff, and you know, how he coached and everything. And I just love everything about it, just his energy, just the way how he coached. Um, you can tell that he really loves the game and how he tries to develop us. He already got a plan for us about how we're going to play different techniques and everything. Um, it's just great just coming out on the field, just to see, like, how he act, like, how he interact with everybody and how he talking to everybody. It's just, it just feels great to have him out there alongside with Coach Book. Would you, uh, how much time you spent looking at last year's tape of yourself, and what did you like, and maybe what did you, what'd you not like? Um, I spent a lot on just watching over the last games and stuff. You know, the bad plays, the good plays. Um, first, starting out with the bad plays, um, I paid attention mostly to that. You know, me playing that slide, that was something different for me. So I felt like that was something I need to focus on and to look and see what I need to improve on at that the most. And I felt like I see it, and I noticed like what I need to work on in the offseason. What do you think it? Not giving too much away. What, what do you feel like you could do better there to be more effective? I would say really everything. I feel like I went at my at the top of my game at the nickel, so I feel like it would be great just to like work on from back from day one to how they want me to play the nickel. Everything, literally from the off to press to knowing the plays to better reaction to know how the game speed goes and everything. So I feel like it was just great just seeing myself in the tape. Do you expect, I guess, uh, with Sean Murphy Bunty coming in, that you will be primarily nickel. Uh, next year, do you think, Roger? Um, no, as of now, we just, whatever position we play, we're a defensive back, so you can put me in corner and nickel no matter what. We haven't told nobody, this is just your position there. Everybody can play any position. And later, how much easier is it to learn new things now <clears> to <throat> come and go? Um, it's great just the learning and just you know the teaching and everything. I feel like I know I know it all a little bit. Um, the system that I got here, I feel like we're doing it back over again and stuff, so I know like how it was from last year until now. Did you feel like being a rookie last year when you went back and watched film that Maybe opposing teams picked on you a little bit because you were a rookie, and how, how do you feel like you responded? Well, definitely. I already know they're going to pick on me because I was a rookie. And um, that's one thing I, I noticed last year about me when they picked on me or when I had a bad play, just going on to the next play. You know, I got guys that try to play hard, so I just try to play hard for them. What's Sean like, and, and what do you think he'll be like as an addition? Which is that? Sean. Uh, oh. oh, Sean, oh, he's great, you know, the type of guy he are. He's funny, just send him out on the field, you know. I've seen him play before at the Buccaneers. He played with both my guys at Arb, and they told me so much about him, just the player that he is. He come and work hard every day, and I literally see him on the field every day. So uh, I know that with him, uh, with us in the back end, I feel like he's going to be great with his in the new addition. You were really the rookie last year, but this year you're going to have, it looks like, a bunch of rookies throwing the ball against you. Oh uh, yeah, I seen that. Um, it's just them guys. I mean, I went against some of the guys. Um, Bryce, I went against him and stuff like that. It's just great just to see them guys. But I haven't went against CJ Scrawl, so I haven't known much about his game and stuff or Anthony Richardson. But um, just knowing them guys, I know they're going to get better. Just the system, just knowing how that offense work and everything is going to be the same offense. So I just feel like you got to pay attention to how they're going to use them. You guys played against Kentucky in twenty twenty one. Yes. Did you, so you played against Levis, and what do you think about him? Um, yeah, I, I think he haven't played that game. He didn't play that game when we had played against him, so I really don't know much about his game play and everything or seeing how he played before. Was he lucky that I played that one? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Oh, he was lucky most definitely because I caught a pick. I caught a pick return one back, so I say he was lucky. He got a little one year off. <laughs> what about uh, size, speed, strength, anything like that? You focus on this off season and, and, and are, you, are you bigger? Leaner, how'd you describe it? Um, I would say I'm still the same size and everything. Um, I wouldn't focus on, I mean, you can't get more faster than what you are now, really. So, really, I'm just focused on more on my body, being more professional, of being more healthy and all that stuff. Because the season is long, and I learned that guys just going down. So, I feel like that's more I had to focus on, just being more healthy and just try to focus more on my body. How about diet? Diet different this year than, than diet? Before? I'll admit, diet, I still need to work on that. That's something I still need to work on. I'm getting better, Doug. Talk to Lauren. She's been with me since Arvin, so she's trying to get me right. What's been the toughest thing to change there? What, what have, what's kind of been a guilty pleasure for you as far as food that you're trying to do away with? Oh, you already know that, baked beans. Yeah. I, had, I had to cut out the baked beans, but I've been trying. I've been doing good. I ain't baked beans in a while, so I've been doing good with that. <laughs> Where were you training, you know, before you came here? Um, I was training here. Um, I was training here at the, the here at the whole time. I was training with I'm a, my trainer named Jerry Holt. He trained at Lipscomb. Um, the camp is over there, so I feel like it was great with him. Cause KB was there too, so just training with him on the side of him, just getting better every day. So I feel like it was great. You feel like you've made Nashville your home at this oh, yeah. point? Yeah, Nashville my home. I'm still learning. The traffic get me every time, but I'm still learning around and everything. What was that like training with KB a little 
Oh, it was great. You know, he pushed me every day, drive, seeing how he worked, just seeing like what he do before we work out every time. He pushed me no matter what. He telling me like how it gonna go next season, how the game will go slower and everything. And it's just great, like just pressing on the side of him and everything, because I know it just make us a better communicate and everything and all to next season. You missing him here? Hmm? You missing him here? Am I missing him? I mean, he, you say, am I missing here? Are you missing KB here? Oh, no, I mean, he enjoy a little time. I mean, I don't miss him. Like, he just, just let him have a little vacation. We come back, everything's going to be great. Just start back off. <laughs> you work out with Kevin is one of the ideas that how durable he's been and he hasn't missed the game in like seven years. Most, def that? most definitely. Um, I asked him a lot of questions about his resources, um, healthy, about who working on his body, um, all types of stuff like that, all his resources. I ask him. Who feeds you? Who cooking your food? Who who working on your body? Who 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 getting you this? Who getting you that? So I ask him everything about stuff like that because I see how a great career he have and that's the career I'm trying to have. Is there anything specific you've started doing since he told you that? Um, most likely just like Pilates. That's one thing I wasn't really a fan of. I didn't really do much. So that's another thing. I'm just getting more stretches in yoga and all that stuff because he really focuses on his body after workouts. He said, I got to stretch. I got to stretch. So I'm like, I'm going to stretch too. I'm right there behind you. So it's just guys like that I look up to that I'm going to follow his steps everywhere. Mm. I guess Murphy Bunny got the zero. Did you have any interest in switching the zero? And what have you, what have you told him about that? Nah, I'm like, he good. I mean, zero, it looked good on my thigh and stuff, but I'm not a really big fan of zero. I really don't care. <laughs> what do you think about the team going to turf on the home games? Um, I just found out about that this week, but I mean, I play grass turf no matter what. I'm just going out there to play, so it don't matter how the, the field is. I guess it's the same turf you got in your bubble, so. Mm, yeah, it's the same, so it's great. Did you think of, you know, I don't know if you got a chance to, to get much background on Josh Wiley, but, you know, his skill set and maybe how that will fit with yours, maybe complement one another? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at it much, but from what I could see from the um, – the clips that I've seen that the Titans posted, he's very good with the ball in his hands. You know, he's a good run after catch guy. He makes guys miss. He plays hard. And he's also a uh, really tall and big prospect, so that's also cool as well. What's uh, Tony Dews, if you work with him for the first time, what's the, how, how well did you know Tony last year as far as interaction? What's it like having him as your, as your coach now? Uh, it was just pretty much any interaction I've had with any other coach last year. But um, this year, uh, yeah, he's my coach now, so – and I'll say main thing for him is uh, details. He's very uh, big on the details and very big on, you know, trying to, you know, bring the best out of me. So I feel like he's going to be that coach that's going to, you know, be, you know, on my back all the time, you know, trying to get the best out of me. So that'll be fun. At the end of last year, you were pretty much this team's best offensive weapon in the past game in terms of what, what you did for this team. They haven't really addressed the wide receiver position a whole lot. Do you feel like that, even more responsibility is going to be on you to be a big part of this offense this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I feel like I've shown last year what I can do. So this year, it's about just um, coming out the same, you know, just making plays again, just making sure everybody in, in the offense can, can trust me with the ball. Um, just getting smarter, just upping my football intelligence, understanding the big picture of plays, and just things like that. What you about yourself last year, and what from that can you carry over into this year? Um, how much did I learn about myself last year? Uh, I'd say, hmm, that the only thing I need really is just, it just, uh, I just need confidence to go out there and play. I feel like I have all the ability in the world, but for me, it's just having the confidence to go out there and understand that, that I can do it. And, um, throughout the season last year, that's one thing I found, like throughout the year, each game I was building confidence each game and then. Uh, I felt like I was getting a lot better throughout the season. As you go back and watch film from last year, what what do you see are some areas for improvement to take your game to that next level? I would say for me is uh, not just relying on my speed all the time, you know, in routes, being able to set guys up and, you know, break guys off and being able to get open in, like, um, shorter spaces, I would say. And then also in the run game, you know, just – Getting more, getting stronger in the combinations and blocking from you know in line, and just um, learning the run game, learning the spots, learning exactly where we're going so I can play faster. I remember last year Delaney Walker. He had taken a lot of interest in you. Mm -hmm. uh, have you gotten to speak to him at all this off season? Yeah, we chopped it up a couple times. Uh, he actually just responded to my story last night that I posted too. So, yeah, talked a couple times. Can you see 
anything already about the, the, the playbook that Tim's put together and what might be different uh, in his offense from what you were doing last year? I would say just uh, I see a lot of speed is involved. A lot of speed is involved. A lot of plays with uh, where we're trying to go really fast and just um, take what we can before the defense can get there, trying to outflank guys. What's uh, was it like having another turf coming this way, and how how close are you with Jalen? Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, I got really close with him. You know, we came in the same time at Maryland and I played together. You know, my whole career with him, he was my left tackle, so. We've always been side by side, so I think it's awesome that he's coming up here, and I'm glad he got this opportunity. You talked to him already. What you, what you told him about here? Uh, I haven't talked to him actually because I know how this is when right after you get drafted. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna give him a little time to you know let it sink in, and then I'll hit him up. Has right. that been good for you, just not having all that come at you at once as a rookie now, and you've been able to kind of ease your way into this next season? Like, what's been different for you in that way? Yeah, it's been really, really nice just being able to, you know, take a deep breath and just really sit down and really just go over things. Because last year I felt like everything was just like a, a ball run downhill. You never knew, like, what to expect. Everything was just fresh. So I think this year just knowing what to expect is uh, a lot better for me because I'm able to really set up set up my schedules, set up everything I need to do to get better. Could you describe maybe the change in the tight end room that you see, you know, in terms of personnel, quite a bit of change from, from last year? What's it going to be like, do you think? Um, I feel like we still have a, a very similar tight end room for what we had last year. I feel like we're a lot, we're very versatile in our room. A lot of us can move around and, you know, play in the backfield, play in line, you know, split out wide. And then adding Josh, too, will also bring another element of um, a lot of more packages, too. So, yeah, we'll see. How it turns out. Most people say you had a good year as a rookie last year. I mean, when you look back at your season, do you like what you did, or do you think it could have been better? Uh, I definitely think it could have been better. I definitely think it could have been way better if I um, if I just had the the sense of myself that I was later on in the year. If I was able to, you know, play like that at the beginning of the year, I feel like I would have done a lot more. But obviously, you know, that just obviously just comes with time and you know reps and getting it in. Chig, Ryan has been around, at least from some of the pictures shared on the team social account. How much does it help having him around uh, uh, during this portion of the offseason program? I mean, it helps a ton. I mean, he's our leader, so, I mean, he leads the offense, he leads the team, and he's our starting quarterback, so, I mean, it helps a ton having him here just every day because, you know, he's really smart and he can really explain things and really clear up a lot of things on routes and just understanding concepts. He's very smart and analytical with all that kind of stuff. You know, it's hard to get a sense at, the, at this stage, but what do you anticipate from Wesco as a, as a blocker? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I literally have not, I have not seen um, anything yet, so I, I don't know. Team switching over to turf at, at Nissan Stadium. What, what are your thoughts about the change in playing surface? I've never been a dude that really cared about playing surface, turf, grass. I don't really care. I, I don't really look at all that stuff like that. The same surface that's in the practice bubble does that gives you some assurance of, of what it's going to be like, I guess? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I always hear guys always talking about like they don't like, you know, turf because of like non contact stuff, but I, I don't think I've ever really had a problem with turf. I had turf all throughout high school and college, so. What, what's Bob been like at, uh, I guess, the off season workouts? You know, so many new players, guys you're getting to know. Uh, what's that kind of been like? Uh, we're just all very uh, energetic, very happy to be back. You know, a lot of it's just been a lot of lifting, conditioning, and then studying the plays and just getting out and throwing. So, you know, it's just, you know, back to the basics, back to square one, just getting it in. Without Swaim or Hooper in the room and then you finding this new confidence in yourself is like a leadership role in the tight end room, something you foresee for yourself this year? Oh, definitely. I definitely see myself leading the tight end room. I definitely see myself, you know, being that guy that, you know, brings us all together. Sure. Uh, Hoss was with us last year, so we well acquainted. He ain't too much new. He was around Keith, so the culture is still the same. We still doing what we do, and I say it's just a personality change between him and Keith. Keith was pretty super, super aggressive, and he 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 more players players guy. As far as for you, with Ben Jones having moving on, like what's the outlook for you? Are you looking to play center, remain at left guard? What's the outlook? Um, I've been working at center right now. I say that's the goal for the team right now for me to move into that center spot and take over that role. And now taking over that role, do you have to 
you know, gain weight or, or have you worked to gain weight? Where are you right now? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to still be playing around the same weight I've been. I ain't really too light. I know the media probably say I'm about 240, 250, but I've been a solid weight for a minute now, so I'll probably be running that weight still. 290. Yeah. Do you think center is your ideal position? What are the differences then in that switch to from left guard to center? Um, I say center like it fits me well just because like I'm in the middle, I'm face against them big noses, I'm quick, athletic, got the natural leverage. So I say that's a good spot for me. Approached you about? Did you approach them? Just kind of <coughs> switch. Um, since I came in, like I've been at guard center role. Like if you probably seen my second year, like, I had came in a couple games at center. So Ben has been at like certified center, but like I've been for sure next up at that spot for a minute now. What did you learn from being around Ben uh, over the last couple of years, and how much maybe that can help you uh, as you forward in your career? I didn't learn a lot from Ben. Ben he been lead with ten plus years. So like just the, his knowledge of the game is on another level. Like just from going into practice, going to games, how he see defenses, how he see just defensive coordinates, people's schemes, like everything from pre-snap to the snap. Like his just whole mentality about everything, how he go about things, how he prepare. Like, I took all that in. Eric Jones be the guy that makes the pre-snap protection <laughs> reads and all that, and to also kind of be a leader in the in the room and on the line. Have you, Feel like you're ready for that role? Yep, I absolutely do. I was a leader coming out of college, and I'm like, me myself, I lead by example. So I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna put in the work, and when I need to be something needs to be said, I'm saying it. Two new vets, two new draft picks. Obviously, a, a lot of turnover. Always talk about how much it takes for an offensive line to gel. How much work do you guys kind of have in front of you building up to opening day? Um, we got plenty of time. It's May right now. They got in about, what, a week ago? When the first game, not till September. So we got plenty of time to jail. We hear it with each other every day. Six in the morning is about three o'clock in the afternoon. So we're going to get there. What's going to be the key to kind of building that chemistry over the next couple months? Just working together, just having the conversations, making sure we all on the same page, sharing knowledge, and just bonding. What's, what's, the, what's I guess, I mean, it's still early in the off season, but do you notice the notice the change, uh, whether it's a culture change or just the way things are with so many new faces in a new position coach? Just mm -mm. You no, know. nah, the culture is gonna be the culture. Like we built on effort and finish, like that's us. So that's not gonna change. You mentioned Jason a little bit different with the, the player coach than, than Keith. Can you expand a little bit on that and, and how that sort of difference you know, um, like to help you guys? Yeah, it was just I just say Keith like he just was a real aggressive like zero silence. It was like his way of the highway. So that's what it was with him. And how's he gonna listen to y'all can share your ideas and go back and forth with each other? You gotten a chance to talk or text with Skaronski yet, or even just watch his tape? Kind of first impressions on him. Uh, I watched a little bit of it, but you can't find much tape on offensive linemen. Like you know, you look up receiver, you can see all the highlights. Like you can't find much on offensive linemen. I seen his little highlights he had, and that's all so far. What you seen? What you think? He's solid. He's a big guy. He go hard. Run off the ball. So he looking good. You guys struggled as a, as a as a group last year a little bit, and uh, how much of that chip on your shoulder thing might carry over in regards to making a new kind of statement this year? Um. I say it's always a chip on the shoulder when you don't make it to the big stage. Like the big goal is getting to the Super Bowl. So I say we still hungry for it and everybody coming in, I hope that's the goal as well, to get to that big stage. How has that install process been for, for Tim Kelly? Like Chig, I mentioned very detail-oriented, a lot of speed in the offense. From your perspective, how has that been? Mm, I would say the same. Like it's getting more up tempo. It's like we still working through the details and all the bumps and all that good stuff. but. It's smooth. It's, it's early in the process right now, so we're getting there. Knowing that you are going to be essentially the quarterback of the, of the, of the line, are you kind of like spending more time individually with him to, yeah. to get everything in sync? I want to say individually. We, uh, probably our centers and quarterbacks, we together a lot. So make sure we all on the same page. That's what's going on right now. Aaron, it helped that Ryan has been here, uh, it seems, throughout the, the, the voluntary portion to start off season program. Does that help since uh, you, you're going to be working with him a lot more? Yeah, that helped. Really. Him, like, because nobody got, like, a certified spot right now. Me, like, me, even me, myself. So, just all of us being here right now working together just. So, if it's Ryan, because you seen last year, it was Ryan, Malik, 
then Josh. So just everybody being on the same page and having that bond and just understanding what's the goal and what we need to be done. How long did the ending of last season kind of stick with you this off season, and how much you think guys that are back will use that as motivation? Um, me myself, it happened and it happened, and I let it go. Like I remember it, but I have a short term memory. Like I'm like very ambitious, so like that happened, but I'm letting it go and understand what needs to be done for the future. And do, do you feel like you're still as tough as a two dollar steak, or has the position changed uh, increased your value? Uh, absolutely. I was tough as a two dollar steak when I came out the womb, so hey, it's not changing. Coach Rabel talked about wanting the whole team to be faster. You know, obviously on the offensive line, you're not covering a whole lot of territory. But what does that mean for you guys? Um, offensive line, like this whole team, we run track stars, so. We all finishing around the ball, so everybody needs to be able to go. Everybody fast. We running off the ball. Like it's not waddling like little baby steps we running. So we all need to be able to go. Is it any different than previous years or it Nah, it's no different. Anybody you do a double take on when you saw them for the first time a couple of months look like they're in better shape, leaner, bigger? Um, I say everybody look like they've been getting it. Like it was some players like they stayed here in the offseason, they were getting it with the strength staff. Some people went away, but Everybody been into it. Like, that's what, like, really been impressive to me and, like, really got me. I just, like, we've been working together and everybody, like, it's everybody hungry, everyone going. Like, everybody looking good. How do you like playing at that faster pace? You, you have a lot of experience with that. Um, since I've been a Titan, that's been the pace. So, I love it. For me, I'm fast myself. So, getting off the ball and just being able to go, yeah, that's good. You, you did say that you felt like Kelly was bringing more tempo, mm -hmm. but but you're saying it's kind of the same. So just looking for a little clarification on that. Do you feel like something about it is is changing? Uh, it just I say we trying to make we get an operation faster. So that's why I say we more of an up tempo the operation like in and out the huddle we going. So that's the difference.